Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be going over this brand new wireless video transmission system from Moman. This is the Matrix 600S. It's a wireless video system capable of up to 600 feet, and it has some really cool features that you may not be used to, like the built-in antennas. Yep, right here inside the devices themselves. You also have noiseless, fanless heat dissipation, which means this makes no noise at all on set. And it has some other options like SDI, HDMI, and you can power it through either USB-C or Sony NPF battery. So we're gonna go over all that and more in this video, so stick around. Hey guys, Ray Valencia here from Starstrung Productions. So I've been using this Matrix 600S wireless video system for a little bit over a month now on my productions and I've used it both in the TV studio as well as on remote shoots as well. And I've hooked it up on the gimbal, I've had it on the Ronin transmitting video wirelessly. I've also had it on some cinema cameras, I've connected it through SDI and HDMI and really ran this system through its paces and another cool thing about it is is that the 0.8 milliseconds of latency which is less than a second is ideal for pulling focus so I've been able to pull focus from another room with this system without any dropouts or anything and it also transmits the audio as well so you can use this for live streaming or like what I was using it for was to do like playback in another room for the directors so they could actually hear the audio as well so it transmits video and audio 1080p up to 60 frames per second which is the standard for most video systems so let's dive into a couple more features here and then we'll go over how to use the system itself one thing I love about this design is the built-in antennas. So if you've ever used a wireless video system where it has two or three, or sometimes I've even used ones that have like five antennas sticking off of them like the more expensive systems do, those are actually a pain in the butt because you're always worried about breaking off your antennas or something like that. So having the antennas built into the system is awesome and I highly do appreciate that feature. Another cool feature that I I like about this system is you're able to mount it horizontally or vertically because there's quarter 20 threaded holes on the side and the bottom and if you're anybody that likes flexibility in their build or like maybe you're on a cinema camera one day or you're on a Ronin the next and you need to save space on your build having the ability to mount it vertically or horizontally comes in really handy and it comes in more handy than you actually think. All right, so I got some batteries and I got some cables and a monitor and everything we need to hook up the system right now. But what you actually get in the box, you get the transmitter, you get the receiver, and you get this USB-C cable here, which you can actually use for powering the device as well. So I'll go ahead and connect this here and connect it to this NPF battery and use it kind of like a power bank. So let me go ahead and power this one on. Okay, and then the receiver itself, we're gonna connect through the NPF battery connector here in the back. So we'll just connect that like that and power this one on. All right, that's powering on there. So the cool thing about this system is that it actually has a really low power draw. So it only needs about 3.5 watts to run this system. Although it can take inputs of up to like 16 volts or something like that if you wanna power it with a V-mount battery using D-tap or something like that, which I often use a dummy battery on the back of here and power it with D-tap, which is a lot more voltage. So it actually doesn't need that much voltage to run, which means you save a lot more batteries, especially for using batteries like this, you're running gun, you wanna be saving as much battery as possible. So somehow Moman's figured out to very, get a very low power draw from these. So that's really cool. But let me go ahead and get the system connected here. So we'll connect HDMI coming out of the camera into the transmitter. And then we'll connect this receiver right into the monitor here. And as you can see, and there you go, it's that easy to connect. So the wireless algorithm in the Moman wireless video system is somewhat impressive because somehow they're able to pass through walls at a short distance with no problem at all. And also they're able to reach up to 600 feet line of sight. So 
Personally, I'm never really 600 feet away from the camera, but I am close distance away through walls. Like for example, whenever I had this system hooked up on the Ronin S with the FX3, I was able to run around with the gimbal outside while the clients and the producers were inside with the receiver connected to the TV in the living room. So they were able to both hear and see what I was shooting outside through the house walls and there was no cutout or dropout or anything like that. So that was cool for them to be able to have that experience inside in the air conditioner while I'm outside sweating. So that's just one more thing and one more service that you can provide to your clients that just makes you look more professional on your jobs. Also, this improved algorithm made it where I'm able to pull focus through a set wall, like in this studio shot here where I had the camera set up outside the studio where the operator is going back and forth on a Dana dolly. So the camera is gonna be in there behind this wall and the monitor and the receiver are gonna be over here. And I'll be pulling focus from over here and this is a hard shot to pull focus on as it is anyways, like especially when you're operating, you're pushing the camera, you're maintaining your frame and you're trying to focus at the same time. So I was pulling focus wirelessly from another room on the Atomos Sumo 19 inch. And then I was coming in through SDI. Now on the receiver, I was powering that through USB-C and I was receiving through HDMI. So I was able to come in through SDI and come out of the receiver through HDMI. So you have that loop through capability as well, which is super, super awesome. I know some systems that I've used where you can only have HDMI or SDI. You don't get that loop through capability. So that's a really cool feature as well. The latency is really good. The transmission is really good and it actually switches channels and switches signals and constantly finds the best signal to keep your video up. All right, so that's the basics of hooking it up. It just works right out of the box, but there are actually some menu functions and some buttons here on the transmitter and the receiver themselves. So let's go over that now. All right, for the display, this is the channel that they are linked up at, which it's channel five in this case, and it'll scan through and change the channels from time to time. Here is your signal display here at the top. As you can see, we have full five bars. Where it says no video here, this will be what's coming in or out of the transmitter or receiver. Usually it'll be up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. Down here, it shows the voltage. This one has 8.1 volts. This one has 8.2. So this battery is just a little bit more full. And if you're powering through USB-C like this, the power indicator will say USB like this and it has a little battery light as well. To update the firmware, you simply just hold on this left button for three seconds and that option will appear here. Update, confirm. So let's get out of that. To access the menu, you hold down this center button for three seconds. And as you can see, the menus are just slightly different. So let's go over the receiver first. So here you have the setting and under setting, you can ac actually pair them up. So you just go here and you turn that to on. You set them both to on for pairing and it'll pair them up if you happen to lose link. You can change your language there as well. Next, under the message tab here, you select that. And this is your SSID for connecting to the Shimble app. And this is the password as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pretty standard there. So let's go back. Next, this tells you what firmware version you currently have. And let's go back again. And now this is the scan function. So let me go to scan here. And when you turn this to on, and select it, you'll see that it'll, the receiver will actually scan through all the channels in the area that it could currently operate on. And then it tells you which channels are the best. And then it tells you which channels currently have a bad signal or some kind of drop frequency or something. So there's the best channels there. And as you can see, we're connected to five, which is one of the bad channels. So we'll just change over to channel seven here, which seems to be a better channel. And as you can see, the receiver will follow just a couple moments later. All right, next on the transmitter, there are even less options. You just have the setting that we went over on the other one, which is pairing and language. You have the SSID and your firmware. 
and that's it for the transmitter not really mu too much to mess with on there like i said they're just simple plug and play ready to go the Matrix 600S has been my reliable wireless video source for the last month now, and it will continue to be my wireless video system for quite some time, just because of the simplicity and how well it works. The fact that the antennas are built in, I don't have any extra pieces to connect or anything like that. I got the versatility to mount it, you know, horizontally or vertically, depending on whether I'm on handheld camera or I'm on a gimbal. So that's really cool as well. The low power consumption, the fact that it doesn't burn through batteries like crazy, and it doesn't have the fan to make a bunch of noise if you're close to your microphone on camera or something like that, you don't have any extra noise on there either. And the fact that MoMan actually made this wireless video system affordable, which is one of the most important things arguably. So wireless video systems are normally super expensive, sometimes in the thousands, and this system comes in at just under $450, so MoMan did a great job of keeping the features very rich and the price very low so i highly highly appreciate that all right guys that does it for me today so if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button and leave me a comment down below if you have questions about anything at all subscribe for more filmmaking gear tips and tutorials just like this one shoot for the stars and i will see you guys very soon in the next video